Good morning, folks. I hope you enjoyed the special video we had yesterday. We'll be coming at that Earth catastrophe from another angle today. We've got top stories to hit as well, starting at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on our star was quiet, like the sun missed its daily analysis and went to sleep in the corner. The solar wind isn't much different. Plasma stream is weak, and geomagnetic conditions are very quiet. Just barely avoided a cosmic ray health alert yesterday. Let's go on to the June U.S. climate report. It was an above average month in terms of temperature and below average in terms of rain. Something we often see and will point out again today. Top right is the maximum daily temperatures. It has the most blue. Bottom left is the daily minimum temperatures. It has the most red. Folks, this is so consistent I can count the months of the last decade that broke this trend on my fingers. What it tells us is that global warming takes its hold at night. We don't get as cool, and that jacks the temperature picture in one direction. Meanwhile, most people probably envision those two maps being flipped. Up next, they have judged the maximum magnitude for the San Andreas and San Jacinto fault systems. They say the unlikely but worst case scenario if they all go at once is a magnitude 8 event, but that a more likely maximum seismic magnitude of the Southern California region is 7.8. Now, even though that's slightly lower, if such an event took place today, the immediate region would be pretty much devastated. Even with increased building code safety after the historic seismic events, little in San Diego or Los Angeles can handle a 7.8. Little there would escape a major disaster if it happened nearby. Let's jump into space next with some aesthetic wonders. Unexpected ring structures seen in radio wavelengths. These circles are peculiar because they appear around or at the periphery of galaxies with stars cores, arms, and everything else. It's just that in radio, they present a bit differently. Hard to know what to make of that one, but it sure is interesting. And last but not least, folks, we've seen another star go off and it's worth looking at in terms of the near space potential galactic sheet interactions. A super flare was discovered recently on AD Leonis, a star 16 light years away. It was a powerful event, but it also makes us ask if it could be a signal like Barnard star and Proxima Centauri were. Now those two are basically in a line towards the center of the galaxy, but AD Leonis is not. As we look at the center of the galaxy, you need to look behind the sun's motion to the west and a bit northward. Basically at only 16 light years away, it's on the same distance from the center of the galaxy, just that little bit north and again behind in our orbit around the galaxy. Remember that the current sheets catch up to the orbiters in the galaxy and orbiters of all sphere magnets, so this one behind us would go off first, but just barely. And so with three nearby stars giving record events, likely in the appropriate order, and with the Plutonian collapse over the last three years, and with all atmospheric planets showing major changes in the system, how much longer could this possibly take? Folks, both the Pluto story, which we've covered the last few weeks, and this A.D. Leonis super flare story today need to be mentally added to the 2020 Cosmic Disaster playlist. If you click that link below this video in the description box, the nearby super flares and the signs in the sky now videos are the most on point with this near space topic. Of course, we also hit the cover up, the geophysics, the archaeology, astrophysics, paleomagnetism, and more in that playlist. Very much worth your while. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. If you missed our special video upload yesterday, I think it is well worth the watch. And most of you seem to not only understand the situation perfectly, but are commenting in favor and agreement. We got your wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. And of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.